In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this very simple flash effect that you can use within your music videos in between clips, in between cuts to create a nice smooth transition for your video. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash the bell notification. And if you are enjoying the content so far, smash that like button. We are uploading every day this month, so stay locked in and let's dive into this video. First thing you want to do is obviously we are in Premiere Pro today. So we're basically just going to be marking in where we want this flash to be. And that's what I've already done here. I've just clicked M on the keyboard on where I want to put these flashes. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go to adjustment layer and we're going to open it up, click OK. And we're just going to make this around six frames. So we're just going to go around here. And the first thing we're going to do is basically just get our cut tool and we're going to mark on where our M markers are so that we know that that is the cut for the flashes right here. OK, and then we're going to get our adjustment layer. And like I said, we are going to make these around six frames. So we're just going to count and we're going to make sure that this is in within the middle of the cut. So we're just going to make sure one, two, three, four, five, six. OK, and we're going to trim this off and we're just going to drag it right in between the middle. So I'd say around here. OK. Now, the next thing you want to do is basically go to effects and you want to type in directional blur, which is right here. And we're going to drag that onto our adjustment layer and we're just going to keyframe the blur length. But first of all, I just want to go to the middle part where our cut is and we're going to change this to around, let's just say 75. So you can see what sort of blur we're getting with the directional blur. And we're just going to press keyframe here and then we're going to go to the start and we're going to reset the keyframe back to zero just by clicking this button here. And as this one goes up to 75 right towards the end, we are just gonna reset this one as well. So then now you get this sort of look, okay? Which looks pretty cool, but we can definitely make this look way better. So now the next thing we are going to do is we're gonna head straight back into the effects and we're gonna type brightness. And with this, we're just basically gonna be able to change the brightness and the contrast to adjust it to our liking. And we are just gonna increase the brightness to, I don't know, let's just say, around 65 and then we are going to keyframe that and we're going to keyframe contrast and just bring up the contrast a little bit i'd say around there 45 and then bring this back reset the keyframe like i did before and do the same as it's getting to the end here so then now when we look back at it this is the sort of look we got which looks kind of cool it looks clean and then the next thing that i usually do is I go to the first three keyframes, I right click them and I go to ease out. Now, some of you may be thinking, why is he not doing ease in first? Because it's at the start of the clip, so it's going to ease into it. But when you actually look at the keyframes, you can see the curve that we're getting. This is the sort of curve you want to create a nice smooth flash effect, especially with a lot of effects in Premiere Pro. You would usually do ease out just to create that nice movement. OK, and then we're going to go to the other keyframes right here and we're going to go to right click and ease in so it creates that nice sort of look so now when you watch this back our flash effect is way better way more smooth and it looks hella clean now you can do a lot with this you can actually change a lot with this effect i'm going to actually show you something else that you can add you can actually add another blur but with this blur we're going to use gaussian blur and when we add this we can actually blur the whole entire screen in terms of it just not being in a directional way if that makes sense so right here in the middle cut we can increase this blur even more so it looks something like this up to 90 this is just optional and then do the same thing with the keyframe make sure we keyframe that and then right at the start return that keyframe back to how it was and then just at the end here return it again as well and just right click ease in put that there and right click ease out so now when we look at this one this is more of like a blurry type effect where like the whole screen goes more so blurry so you can add different variations to the effect like making it more blurry etc adding color balance you can keyframe color balance hue saturation you can do different things but that's how i'm going to keep mine today and then what we can do is we can literally just copy our first adjustment layer that we've made and just attach it to all these markers of where we want this flash to happen and now when we play it back you can see what we got one two three four five looks sick oh yeah we can add another one here 
that looks clean man i really like the way that's looking and if you want to save yourself a lot of time doing these effects you could just go to adjustment layer just delete all of our keyframes just go to the left here go to presets and open up your intensity preset pack now if you guys don't have this already feel free to go in my description and click on the link and download yours today and we can just drag flash blur effect because i've already made it as a preset so now when we watch it back we've got our own so it's quite different to you know these flash effects that we have just made but you can add variations to it they are customizable and you can adjust them to your liking so there's two variations here we got this flash the directional flash and then we just got the blur flash so there's a lot that you can do with these sort of flash effects and i feel like it just makes your video look 10 times better 10 times more cleaner and it definitely does help out your music videos a lot now what i'm actually going to do here is just to make this effect final we're going to be using two variations so i'm going to be using a preset and i'm going to be using a directional blur effect right here so we're basically just going to delete these flash effects that we've added so that we can get a variation of different ones so we're going to use the first one on this cut here then we use a second one on this cut then again first one on this cut and second one on this cut just like that so now when you watch it back bang 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 yeah this looks clean i like the way that looks man like these flash effects are very simple but they're so effective for your videos so please if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification and if you're enjoying this video that you've just watched make sure you smash the like button tell me what you think of this effect do you use these sort of effects in your videos do you use other sort of effects let me know in the comments below what effect you want to see me create next on this channel thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video love